tipped over my picnic table. Three days ago there was uh, high winds and a storm. I say it was 85 mile an hour. My uh, diesel transfer tank got blown over. And by the way, there are the three silos that are about to be knocked down by the... Um, just had a tick on my on my neck. So a tick, wood tick, lots of ticks around here. So these trees are standing, but um, this one blew down. I don't know what that is, about a 50 foot pine. Just missed the house. Look at all these little pine cones, pretty cool. All up at the top of the tree. Thousands of them, or hundreds anyway. Well, it'll get cut up here. Then this here, I don't know if this will show up with the sun, but branch of this big oak split. Oh, you can see up there. Fell right on the power line, knocked power out here. But more importantly, uh, two or three uh, electrical poles were blown over and split in half. So power was out here for 48 hours. Um, a couple trees were split here. This one. So I've got some cleanup to do. Um, today, three of my nephews are supposed to come up with my dad to help. We're going to, I'm going to give them some chainsaw lessons and then uh, help them. They're going to help me um, cut up these trees. And there's also, on all the fields of the edges, a lot of trees have blown in, so we need to cut them up. And we'll cut them into lengths and then split them. Um, for firewood, stack them and dry them for a couple years, and then we can burn them in the masonry heater inside. Um, here's my. Um, we'll end with this. Here's the crowd. And these guys are supposed to be eating those ticks, those chickens anyway. I had guinea fowls the previous years, and uh, they're just annoying. They're too hard to keep track of. So, between the chickens, they're supposed to be eating all the ticks, but they missed that one. So maybe they got them when I threw them back. But.